Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a Docker Crash course for Angular and .NET web developer. So today we are going to create a Docker Compose file for our PostgreSQL and WebAPI project, and uh, I will show you the container communication using a bridge network. So let's start. So as we search for Docker file, similar we can search for Docker Compose file here in the extension. So let me search for Docker Compose and uh, we can take this one so let's select this and here i can take dot net core and let's decide our operating system and port and this will generate uh, docker compose file for me so let's open this so here i can see you the name uh, see the name uh, above version is there then name i can see then image for my .NET API and here uh, we have defined the context as a dot for local uh, root path and docker file path and we have defined the ports for our API now similar way we can define for our uh, db postgres so let me give name db here for api we have given hello docker api so similar i can give db here let me give my image name so it's postgres then ports so it should be 5432 for postgres and then i can give a restart so i want to restart always so let me define always here so now i need to uh, define my environment variable so i can copy it what we uh, used in our command same environment variable uh, i can use so let's copy and paste it here and now let me define the our volume first so volume we used in our command also right so same volume i can use and define in my docker compose so uh, let me check in the command and this is i can define here right so let me paste it here now uh, below is environment variable below is stand for environment so that environment i need to add in docker compose so let's add environment here and let's hit enter and here i can give my username and let me give username as a string now let's define our password and my database name as well also i need to define volume here so let me define my volume it should be db data right so let me give volume name here and uh, my api is depend on postgres right because it will not work without uh, uh, postgres container so i can define this dependency also uh, so let me do this so let me add uh, keyword depends on and then i can give my postgres image name so what is the name of uh, of that it's db right so i can give it there now in the terminal window i can run command called docker compose up so this will create a new uh, this will build a new image and it will create new container so let me stop this existing container and now i can run docker compose up so let me enter it oh so i am getting some error so let's look for this and uh, also i need to change uh, it like this And value also we can add uh, directly here with this hyphen. And 
and also uh, let me define expose my api port so i can give port here as a string i can give five triple zero and let me define port internal and external ports in the port section so both internal and external is a five uh, triple zero now uh, i can try to compose so let me try to run it and now i think it's started creating so now i can see in the container my both postgres and uh, uh, .net api uh, container is running with only single command so now let's try this but it will not work because uh, my both the containers should be available in the same network but it is not there we need to define one bridge network to uh, make the communication between both the container so this time i should get error here so now in the docker compose i need to define the network so let me give my network name as a hello docker api dev and then i need to define the driver so it's a bridge driver and uh, same thing i can i have to add in my both the containers right so by that i can uh, say that my both the containers are running in the same network so let me define the networks here and i can copy this name here from here and let me paste it and let's copy all this and add in the postgres because postgres should also be in the same network now next thing i need to give this dv name in my connection string so let me copy this and go to startup.cs and the, uh, in the host uh, instead of this i can give my db name so let me give it here host as a db and save this also as it is a new database so i want to ensure that my this new db is created so how can i do this uh, we are having an option here so let me give this dot database dot ensure created so this will ensure that my database is created okay so we can see the definition here and let's save this change now uh, as this is a new database so i want to add some record also right because i will not get anything uh, in the database so let me add one more method to post a uh, uh, new record so let me copy this method and paste it below and uh, let me change this verb to http post uh, let me rename this also to post and the term type also i can uh, change right so let me remove this and let me add a string here now what i'm going to post i'm going to post my youtube model so let me add it here in the method and where from where i'm going to post from body so let me add body keyword here so now uh, let me first uh, stop this 
so I can press Ctrl plus C and let me uh, run docker compose down command to stop this cover the container now we are having context dot entry and then here I can give my model name it's a YouTube and then I can pass my model value and let me define the state so it's a state we are adding a new record so it should be added right and after that uh, it should be context dot save changes to save our changes to database and here I have to return a string value so let me remove this and let me give some string value maybe saved so now we have done with the, all the changes let quickly verify so now uh, I can build to get the latest image right so let me build it so this will give me a, a new .NET API image let's wait for this so let me run docker compose up file to create a container for our images so it's started and we can see that first it's creating a network and we can see our network name hello docker api dev it's then it's created our db container and then it's working for our api container and now I can see that my both the container is running. So let's verify changes in database. Uh, sorry, in the browser. So let me refresh this. So now I can see this uh, two methods. Let me try first get. So we should not get anything any uh, record. So first time because we don't have database so it will take some time because first time it will create the new database for us. So let's wait for the database creation and then we will get a response. So yeah, I am getting an empty array because we don't have any record. So now quickly add some record using our post method. So now we can see like uh, our bridge network is working fine and now my both the container is able to communicate with each other. Now let me give video name is uh, maybe Tapan my name and let me execute. So I uh, received uh, 200 as a response and saved a string. So my record is also saved successfully. Let me quickly run this get method again. And yeah, great. I'm getting my response. Let me add one more record. So how did you, how much you liked uh, this course and if you have any suggestion I would be very happy if you can give me in the comment box. So now we have saved this record so let me get check this again and now I am getting to record from the database. So now I hope you will be able to understand that how uh, that Docker Compose file worked and how that communication happened uh, using uh, bridge network. So that's all for this video. I hope you uh, like this video and I would be very happy if you can uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, if you can uh, like uh, this video and if you can provide me some yeah, your valuable suggestion. Thank you for watching.